Hey, Sermon here with Red Hawk Coaching. Hope you're having a great and a blessed day, productive week. Uh, today is day 11 of the 30 day video challenge put on by Red Hawk Coaching. And today I just want to take a little sidestep from business and a little bit of sidestep from just personal life and just really kind of go back and look at what happened 18 years ago. We lost nearly 3,000 people here on American soil. We lost several thousand others to go that went out and fought the war to, to keep it from coming back to our our soil again and we're still fighting those today we've, we've got to go back and we've got to remember and you know here's where I was at that time I was doing an internship with Texas a and University and the sports management program we had a 13 week internship we had to complete for our class and so I worked at the YMCA here in Kingwood Texas and you know that the internship was unpaid so I'd also work you know five to six hours in the morning I'd get there about 4 35 in the morning I had to work in the gym, and that was my paid time, and then I spent the rest of the day. So I was at the Y, you know, 12, 14, 16 hours a day uh, during that internship. And I was in the gym at the time, and I was looking out. There's a row of treadmills, and above the treadmills was TVs, and I couldn't see them from the desk. All I could see was the people on the treadmills, and they were running and watching the television. And then all of a sudden, they all stopped and got off. And it was just the strangest thing to see that it was all at the same time. And one of the members said, Jeremy, hey, come over, you've got to see this. About the time that I got over there, two or three minutes into watching what was unfolding, which at first might have seemed like possibly a, an accident, tragic accident, uh, we saw the second plane hit the second tower. And at that point, I knew our country was under attack, and so did everybody else. And, and what it created after that was a sense of uneasiness, um, uncertainty, fear. Um, I, was, I immediately started thinking my, about my fiance, who was in Florida at the time, uh, for a conference. And you know, that's a whole other story. You know, There's two or three days before she could fly out, which she did fly out. She flew out in a tropical storm. So you can imagine the turbulence. Um, on that flight and you know the pilot came over reassured we just all want to get home and you know I, th I think about that in the in the fear that it created the uncertainty that we created um, that it also let us know that life is is uh, finite it could go we could we could be gone at any time you, know, you think about the 3,000 that woke up uh, that morning you know, the night before, you know, they were with their families and, you know, just living out their life and, and had no idea that the next day that they would lose their life. And, you know, it just, it gets me thinking, I, I put a post out yesterday about time and how we use it. Are we using it in a way to, to magnify what we've been given? And that's both in our business and then in, in our personal lives. And I think 9-11 was one of those tragic events that really get us to go back and look at how we spend our lives. The unfortunate thing, and I was talking with my wife about this this morning, was that, you know, there's a lot of people coming into the voting block, right, that are going to be, that are 18 or turning 18. Um, in 2020, they're going to be able to vote, and they never experienced, they weren't even born when this event happened. And it's it's kind of it's a, it's a scary thing because we go about our lives you know sometimes it's the rainbows and the unicorns and the leprechauns and everything's going well and then something like this happens and it, and it changes a perspective in your life and, and I know it changed my perspective I know it changed the perspective of, of Americans at the time you know one of the things that doesn't get talked about that happened shortly after and that I noticed and and I've noticed this in events like Hurricane Harvey uh, when we flooded here in Kingwood. I recognize this when uh, we went through Hurricane Ike uh, back, I believe it was in 2008. And, you know, was especially during 9-11, was that everybody dropped their differences. Um, there was no hate. There was no Democrat or Republican. There was no gender discussion. There was no, there was no anything. Everybody was united. Um, under one mission and it was to, to go find those that that caused the, the harm to to these innocent lives and you know it's unfortunate that it takes those events yet 
it was it was a beautiful thing to see people come together. I, I've never seen anything or experienced anything. Neighbor knew neighbor. Uh, there was people having conversations. It wasn't all through social media um, or, or text or, you know, we'd pick up our phone and call those that we hadn't talked to for a period of time. It was... In the, in the tragedy, there was a beauty of coming together and being one. And, and I really wish we could experience that. And I wish that those that didn't experience that at that time could go through that experience without the tragedy. Uh, that we could just drop everything and, and be, be united and care for each other and lift each other up. And, and that definitely happened after that time. Took a lot of lives. It took a lot of. There's several heroes that day. Uh, whether they were police officers, whether whether they were, you know, firefighters, um, you know, a lot of the the different services that are out there to help protect us. There's a lot of those individuals that lost their lives that day. There's a lot of families that were broken, and I think we need to remember that. We need to remember those. Uh, you know, the think about the the people on the plane and the attendance and you know all those I, I consider them heroes and I, I just think that you know we've got to remember we should never forget and I, I see it a lot of times especially on this day people put the hashtag never forget yet are, are they really going back and thinking about what happened at that time is a big change in my life is a big change in the I had several friends that went over and enlisted and, and, and served few of them lost their lives um, it's it was a big deal and we, we should never forget and so I, I hope this message inspires you and encourages you you reach out to somebody today um, talk to somebody there's somebody out there that needs to hear from you uh, lift them up be united uh, stop stop with all the bickering um, you know I know that it's a heated political time uh, stop just stop and to, at least for today, and think about that event, reach out to somebody, lift them up, be there for them, go help a neighbor, uh, do something in remembrance of, of 9-11-2001. Have a great and a blessed day.